Hello, uh, my name is Yu Yang Song. I'm a textile designer based in Berlin. I have been working on the development of biodegradable materials. So today I'm in Electronica Center. Uh, thanks for Electronica waiting me to uh, make this presentation. I'm so appreciated. Okay, let's start. I will show you my project, Repeal. Repeal is an organic material which uses bio waste as raw materials. So the project aims to uh, provide an alternative to plastic and leather, at the same time promote sustainability. It is an independent developed technique which aims to process bio waste into a soft but yet robust leather-like material. Banana and orange peel or soybean residue are combined with the nature bending agent as a substrate. The resulting composite is fully biodegradable and uh, can be easily reused after remanufacturing process. It is 100% zero waste natural product. Moreover, the material provides similar toughness, durability, and uh, water resistance as normal leather material. So the whole idea comes to me after enjoying the food. I was always thinking about how to conserve the food smell and uh, develop a material based on food bio-waste that has the smell of the foods and uh, refined texture as well as feels good on touch. After that, I did some investigation about the amount of bio-waste generated uh, uh, in Berlin each year. There were approximately 6,000 to 70,000 tons of bio-waste produced in 2017 and uh, roughly 17% 17, uh, 17 of them are food waste. So currently, the application of bio-waste can be divided into fields such as the uh, production of fertilizers and the uh, production of natural gas, etc. As a textile designer, I was thinking about, uh, is there a possibility to convert this bio-waste into new materials? Uh, then I started to uh, work on my project. The bio-waste we use that are mainly consist of banana peels, orange peels, and uh, uh, soybean residue. At first, I mainly use food dyes as coloring agents. Here you can observe that some of the, uh, some of the materials have corks and uh, some of them are curved. From my perspective, uh, the material with those quality flowers cannot aid me in my design. So I started to optimize the material. I aim to optimize the material from two different uh, perspectives, such as uh, water resistance and uh, antibacterial capability. So the first point, uh, antibacterial, since the material will be used in clothing items, which means that the material will contact the human skin, antibacterial capability is very important. So my experiments will uh, my experiments results has shown that by using certain antibacterial agents, the material will have a good antibacterial performance and reaching 99.99% um, of antibacterial effectiveness. Uh, effectiveness. Second, the waterproof capability of the material. Since the material will be used in some products with special uh, performances, such as wrinkles, surface for shoes, that I uh, conducted a few experiments with uh, the waterproof layer, which allows my material to be water resistant. To get a better design, I'm trying uh, different approaches from material color, patterns, structure, and uh, size. Since the material is uh, considered, uh, considered as a new biomaterial, so its processing capability have to be investigated. I attempted some processing uh, techniques such as uh, dyeing, laser cutting, weaving, knitting, and uh, molding, etc. First of all is dyeing. I always use natural dyes and uh, fruit picking to dye my material such as indigo from fresh leaves of polygon, uh, lake dye extract, and uh, liquid extract. 
And here are the indigo uh, colors of different uh, uh, concentrations. Other than that, here you can see colors from the foods such as banana and uh, orange peels. And here it's very simple. And uh, here is some different uh, patterns made with molding. Yes, uh, these are the different textures and uh, patterns that I made. On top of that, I also tried 3D molding and uh, here is an object with 3D molding and uh, also 3D printing. So here um, are some of the laser cutting samples. On top of that, I attempted to make a surface of large size, such as this one, which is one meter by 50 centimeters. And uh, here are meters by 80 centimeters, two meters uh, by 80 centimeters. And uh, here's the laser, uh, laser printing samples. Yes, here shows a, a laser printing working process. And uh, here are the, some of the samples. I also tried to make a material from 2D to 3D structure surface. With all those performance capabilities available, I tried to make some product prototypes. Uh, first of all, it's one piece design. This design concept uh, pursued uh, minimalistic and uh, zero waste guideline through laser cutting technology. Uh, the one piece design can be realized without uh, serving and uh, adhesives. Here is a one piece uh, wallet. And uh, here is a one piece object. And this table size uh, that I recently attempted, this table side accessory are completely made from one single piece of material without any adhesive or sewing. Different parts are held together by material self adhesiveness. So considering more possibilities and the uniformity of fashion design, I tried to make some clothing accessories. So here are some examples, uh, such as biodegradable buttons, and here's zippers, and uh, here's biodegradable yarns. I hope to, I hope this clothing accessory can aid me in um, designing my products. I hope to uh, use only one type of material in my collection of clothing items, even zippers, buttons, and uh, yarns. So for example, you can make a handbag from the material and this material made with banana peels and also a shoe surface. I also tried to make lamp since the material shows its beauty under sunlight or lamplight and then I think of this application. At the same time, I would like to highlight the material itself, um, but not the shape of the product. Those are some of the application possibilities. I hope to realize a more aesthetic designs by um, improving the material's performance. And um, my materials can step into our daily lives and uh, achieving the goal of sustainable development and uh, eco-friendly. I believe my project will provide new perspectives and uh, outlooks to designers. Being biodegradable, my material will provide a sustainable approach to current projects, giving not only the fashion industry, but other new options and uh, new possibilities. So people, will, uh, people will be able to live a sustainable lifestyle where they can respect the environment and uh, enjoy themselves. With my project, I would like to show people how simple sustainability is and how they can all get involved. Thanks.